St. Louis lives up to its promise of removing a tent city along the riverfront. Now, advocates for the unhoused say that the move comes as more resources are desperately needed. Fox News Jeff Bernthal has reaction to the removal of the encampment. City crews plowed through the area along the riverfront Friday afternoon. The tent community was given a 10 day notice to vacate and Friday marked the deadline. A city spokesperson tells us the city offered housing to individuals living there and reports 19 of them accepted the offer. Right now this is happening at a time when there is not enough resources to replace what is being destroyed here today. Advocates for the unhoused say the city does not currently have an adequate amount of help available for those living in tent communities. The city has said they moved forward with removing the camp because they were able to offer housing. If this were done in the context of uh, adequate resources all around for the homeless in our metro area, it wouldn't be quite so bad. But this is being done at a time when there are not enough shelter beds. And for those that choose not to go to shelters, there are no really safe alternatives for people to go to. According to a spokesperson for the city of St. Louis, approximately 20 to 25 individuals slept here on any given night. They say those who have accepted the city's offer for help will have their possessions in storage as they transition into housing. We've reported on concerns from nearby business operators who have pointed to the encampment as a source for crime. They are pleased the city is offering help. We really hope that the city continues to do their part of giving the resources to the individuals who need it. Mingus and others invested in Laclede's Landing say the decision will help create a safer neighborhood for visitors and residents. My staff and a lot of my tenants are now like feeling like we're not held hostage anymore. Um, it's nice to be able to get out and walk around the neighborhood and not have to fear. And coming up on Fox 2 News at 10, what about the future for this area? Reporting from Laclede's Landing, Jeff Berthal, Fox 2 News.